Jesse Dougherty, Washington Post. Hey, how you doing, man? You hear me all right? Hey, hey, Jesse, what's going on? No, I'm, I'm good, man. Um, you've had two outings now, and you've thrown a bunch of live B or a few live BPs, maybe. How's your arm generally felt after, you know, kind of what was a wacky 2020 as you ramp up here? Yeah, it, it actually feels way better right now than it did at any point last year. Um, felt like last year I was dealing with a little bit of dead arm to an extent. Um, obviously, the season ended, got to go home, recoup, kick the feet up for a little bit and get 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 back to work and getting on a good strength and throwing program. And so arm feels really good right now. Does that surprise you? No. Okay. <laughs> Except for the winter, it's kind of just a normal feeling? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I kind of figured that's what was going on last year. And it's one of those things that I just, I as a player had to grind through and make the most of it and had a pretty good idea that after some downtime and um, like a normal ramp up again, that would be fine. For sure. And, and then you're outing today, you get in a jam quickly, but then you're able to get out of it. How does sort of your approach or pitch mix change if it does it all once you are, you know, sort of have, have some traffic on the base pass and you're trying to get out and in there? Um, yeah, I think once, once, uh, I gave up that double, tried to pitch in a little bit more and get the guys off the plate because anytime in my mind, anytime a guy leads off the inning with an extra base hit kind of sets the tone for an in it can set the tone for the inning to an extent and the guy, the hitters can become comfortable at the plate and I didn't want that to happen. So really just tried to throw a few fastballs in, let them know that I can locate it. And even if it missed a little bit, it was going to miss off the plate. So move their feet a little bit and just kind of stick to what makes me successful, mixing it up a little bit. Great, thank you. Jessica Moretta, MLB.com. I keep forgetting to unmute. Uh, ben, good to see you. Uh, how, how does spring training feel different this year now that you've had a season of major league experience under your belt? I would say the biggest difference for me this year is just not all the guys being together in one clubhouse. It's pretty weird being separated into three different uh, locker rooms. And, you know, there, there's some guys I literally might see once a week. And it's just as we cross paths on the sidewalk and obviously with, with you all not being able to be in the clubhouse is different as well. Um, so that stuff is kind of the same as we all got to experience that last year. But from a player perspective, I would say I feel probably a little more sure and confident what I'm doing and on a day-to-day -day basis this year, um, you know, being, being able to be around the guys last year, I think there's some added comfort in just being able to play together, talk, and uh, just go about our days in, in the same, as, a, as a unit. So I would say those are probably the main differences. Davey said that he noticed that you were watching John Lester uh, throw the other day and that you're very observant of some of the veterans. What are some of those things that you've picked up, whether it's from conversations or just watching them on the mound? Yeah, I think uh, first and foremost, I mean, look at our rotation those guys are so accomplished and they've been around for a long time and especially someone like john who has been so healthy for so long um i think it's important for me to just kind of watch how he goes about his business watch what he does when spikes come off in the weight room and the training room and stuff like that and um, the same goes for max and and steven and joe and all those guys um and their uh you know their experience and they're, they, they have a wealth of it, you know? And I think for, if anybody were to ask me, especially a younger guy, I would say just be a sponge, you know, listen to as many things as you can, watch them. Um, so that's kind of what I'm sticking to is what I did last year. I would say probably this year, I'm a little more confident to speak up and ask some questions to those guys. Whereas last year I was more observant, so. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, Ben, um, I know last year when you made your debut, it's an odd situation. You're, you're in empty stadiums. It probably doesn't feel the way you always thought of, you know, big league debut would. Um, but in a way, do you feel like now when you do, whenever it happens this year that you, you're back in the big leagues, it might be a little easier and you, you'll sort of feel like you've had a, a ramp up to what it's going to be like for real when you're there with fans and everything like that? Yeah, I think so. I think there will be some added comfort in um... – and being up there again, having experienced some things last year. And like you said, with fans, I mean, even in the, the two games I've pitched in thus far, what, and, and uh, at the Cardinals place, I think there were maybe 1,500, 2,000 people. And I'd imagine there were a little less than that here today. 
but you can, I feel like as players, we can notice the difference in just that small number of people being here. So I think whenever I am back up there this year, it'll almost feel like a, a re-debut to an extent with uh, fans in the stands. And I think uh, having experience last year and getting called up, I think I'll be confident and, and comfortable having being on that stage. And it'll be even more exciting to have fans in the stands. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully we stay trending in that direction. How um how aware are you of watching how much you're throwing this year? It's such a weird, you know, bounce back from a short season. And I know the team is being careful with especially young guys. Is it something you have to have on your mind? You just kind of let them dictate how much you're going to throw and when? Um, well, you know, they, they obviously will dictate when we pitch. But on, a, on days that I'm not pitching, I uh, – I kind of like to throw a lot, to be honest with you. I don't like to have a, you know, seven minute throwing program or a 10 minute throwing program. I prefer to just listen to my arm, listen to my body. So tomorrow, if I come out here and I'm feeling pretty fresh and good, I'll probably extend it a little bit and, and play some long toss. And, um, you know, next outing, if I'm feeling a little tired or fatigued, I might take it a little lighter. So I, I like to listen to my arm, listen to my body feel what it's telling me, but, uh, I definitely prefer to throw a little bit more than less. So, I'll stick to that and, and it, hopefully it serves me well. Has the coaching staff, Jim Hickey, been like receptive to that and, and letting you dictate a little bit of, of what you can do? Yes, yeah, sir. I think they're, they're pretty good about letting guys um, do what makes them comfortable, do what makes them confident, uh, especially with the older guys. You know, they, they've been around for a while and they have their routine set. So for someone like me, I feel like I have a pretty good base as far as a routine goes, but I'm always trying to implement new things or try new things or maybe eliminate some things based off of their feedback. Um, you know, Coach Hickey's feedback, Davey's feedback, anything. So uh, it's kind of like ever evolving until I get to a point where I feel confident what I'm doing. And even then it'll probably, I'll still have an open mind to it. I don't think that there will ever be like one set thing where I'm always going to be doing this, this and that at every single day, you know. Bobby Blanco, Mass and Sports. Hey, Ben. Nice to meet you. Hey, you as well. Um, Davey mentioned earlier that they are stretching you out as a starter, and um, you've obviously had some starting experience in the minors. Um, just how have you been reacting to that and stretching out, and um, is starting something that you've been working on and, and want to focus on as you uh, forward your career? Yeah, I think, that's a, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to – have the chance to be stretched out as a starter. Um, you know, 2019 in the minor leagues, my first full season as a starter all year. And I felt like that went pretty well. Uh, so going into last year, starter again, um, you know, we all know how that went, made a couple relief appearances, started a game. And then heading into the off season, um, they told me to stretch out as a starter, you know, do my throwing program as I would anticipate throwing a lot of innings this year and be built up to, you know, probably two ups, three ups for the start of spring training. So I feel very confident in that. Uh, I also feel more confident in a relief role this year as well, should that be where I'm at. Um, I think it's always easier to kind of go from a starter to a reliever, vice versa, you know. Um, and I, that, that'll that allow my arm to stay in shape. So um should I still be stretched out as a starter at the end of the year? That's, you know, that's wonderful. Um, I, I'm going to love the challenge of doing so. And I definitely feel confident in the starter's role for sure. You were one start last year. You started the second game of a doubleheader against the Marlins and you pitched really well over five innings. What was some of the takeaways you remember from, or when you look back at that start and, um, um, and that experience? Yeah. So last year, um, my stuff was a little down from what it typically is. So I feel like from the get go, that kind of forced me to think outside the box and think outside the realm of what, of how I would normally attack hitters. And when I look back on that, it forced me to throw, uh, to really mix up my pitches a whole lot. And um, especially at the alternate site, we were facing the same, you know, four or five hitters literally for five innings. So by the fifth inning, they were coming up to the plate and I'd seen them five, six, seven times. So they know how you pitch and, and you know kind of what they're looking for. So it became more of a chess match. And um, I think when, when you look back to that start in Miami, that's kind of what I did. I, I just mixed everything up and pitched backwards, pitched traditionally off the fastball and just did a little bit of everything. And uh, I felt really good doing that. And I still feel pretty confident about that style of pitching. Um, so that's something that I'm going to take with me and, and, and move forward with. And 
as my stuff continues to get back to where it, it should be and hopefully better, then that'll just serve me even, even more down the road.